Well, hello everyone. Hello. I, I can't believe season six is here. We're so happy that you're joining us for this first episode of Tea Time. I'm Jenny. And I'm Karen, and we're your educational directors at the Aroma Head Institute. And we are giving you a warm welcome. So if you are, if this is the first event you've ever been with us here at Aroma Head, please pop that into chat because we want to give you a warm a wel a Aroma Head welcome. If this, if you're a first timer, just write in and say hello. Let us know your name. And we want to give you again a warm Aroma Head welcome. Those of you who have been in our community or you've recently found us, which Aroma Head classes are you in? Pop that into chat as well because we want to give you a warm Aroma Head welcome also. We've had a busy chat going on. We've got people yeah. from all over. We are a global community, so we've got folks from everywhere. Yes, and we've got Heidi, hello, from Massachusetts, and Peggy. We've got Brigitte from Switzerland. I know, Brigitte, you have been here since season one, <laughs> two oh. years ago now, yep. We've so, already got folks saying what kind of teas they're drinking, ooh. so maybe I'll yeah. jump in and let them know what we're drinking today. We'll let you know, yes, let us know what you're drinking, and we, Karen will tell you all about our tea for today. So today, this is a delicious tea, and it's called Pisces. Ooh. Isn't that fun? This is from Magic Hour, and can you read those ingredients for I us? I sure can. So we've got um, magnolia oolong, jasmine pearl, green tea, butterfly pea flower, organic lion's mane. Delicious. It's it so is good. Delicious. And the fun thing of it is, this is what it looks like. I'll put this white behind it there. It's a, it's a beautiful blue colored tea. It, it starts out like this like that. It's really beautiful. And it ends up like this. <laughs> How cool is that? I and love it's delicious. It. I love it's it. very delicious. It's so good. And I am just loving all of these responses flooding in. Thank you for telling us about the tea. I just love it. Karen picks out the tea every time. So it's surprise. always a surprise to me and I just, I'm here for it. I've seen turmeric and ginger and yeah. all kinds of yummy teas coming through. And we've got so many first timers. This is the first tea time you've been with us. We're in season six. So we started tea time a couple of years ago, just Karen and I from a cell phone, as we were heading into a global pandemic, all kinds of things. And we felt we needed to really connect with our Roma Head community. So we just started tea time as a way to drink some warm tea and to talk about blends that can really just help us nourish our minds, bodies, and spirits. So again, a warm welcome to our first timers. I see a lot of natural living students here. We have several courses here at the Rome Head Institute. They're all online and self-paced, and I'm seeing all of our students here. I recognize your names. It's so much fun to connect in this way, and we've got certification students here. Oh, Debbie's taking her A&P exam today. Wow, and Kathy is doing her, she just finished her anatomy and physiology, and um, there we go. And Teresa, where can I buy the tea? Well, why don't you answer that while I am so going to get organized this tea, on this side. Go to Magic Hour Teas, and, and the link will pop up, and you can buy this delicious Pisces tea, as well as some really other delicious teas. And Patty is drinking hibiscus and mint. Ooh, delicious. Oh, that sounds good. It does sound good. All right, so as you know, those of you who've been around, we have our snotes right here. There's so many moving pieces that are just so new and exciting. So we have them all listed out so that we don't forget a single one. Um, you might have noticed down below where you're viewing, there's a little coffee or teacup right there. And um, we have introduced this new feature. If you would like to support Tea Time, and again, totally optional, this is a fun new thing we're trialing and trying out. You can uh, buy us a coffee, in our case, you can buy us a tea, and that just helps us uh, support Tea Time and keep this a free event for um, our students, also just the general public who want to learn a little bit more about Aroma Head. Plus it's fun. It's so fun, it is, it's so fun. So if you wanna do that, again, totally optional, that's a way to support our Tea Time season six. That's right, we have an exciting announcement too. We do. <clears throat> I, this is not the exciting announcement. <laughs> I came down with a cold and flu uh, last week. That's and I'm, not exciting. I, no, I'm almost <laughs> over it. And the fun thing is uh, over on Instagram and Facebook, the second I felt like I was coming down with something, I did a steam blend and filmed it and posted it. So if you want to check that out, I'm in the final stages. So if I sound funny, that's why. 
We love doing steam blends when we're feeling a little bit under the weather because it just gets right in there and gets rid of all those germs. Yes. So season six, we have um, six events for you, six recipes. Today we're blending green clay and we're putting together a green clay and honey face mask. Now our team sat down and uh, thought through how we can really provide more additional content specifically to our tea time group. Like Brigitte, you've been here since season one and I see lots of other names that I recognize from season one. And so we have a tr workshop trio that we are um, going to be teaching this month. We have three different events in that workshop trio and you're able to purchase the bundle through the 7th of April as we are going live on the 7th. On the 7th. So if you are interested in an introduction and looking at three different clays and how to work with clays, we'll be going into our workshop trio. That's our first workshop in the lineup on the 7th. And then we have um, working with hydrosols. If you are new to this and you're like, what is a hydrosol? This is definitely a trio for you. We'll be looking at three hydrosols in depth after we talk about generals, generalities. And then on the 30th, we'll be looking at carriers, how to work with carriers. And we will be diving into three carriers. And they correspond with the content in our Tea Time series. That's right. And it's a good way to get more in-depth information. It really is. So again, this is just for our Tea Time community. And you have until April 7 to grab your seat. And it's first come, first serve. It's a $149 trio, and we're offering it to you for $99. So let's pop in a link. So those of you who have, you know us, you're like, I want in, you can grab your seat right away. And why you're doing that, yeah. Cynthia says, you know, this community is why Tea Time has been so endearing to me. I started in season one, and here we are on season six. I know. With the pandemic raging, it felt like a close-knit community who cared. It really is. That's and how I describe it, too. It really is. It's just a beautiful, warm, nourishing, supportive community. And we are so happy, those of you who are first-timers, that you found us. And we want to warmly welcome you to Tea Time season six. That's right. And right. Soma will answer your question as we go through, um, but yes, this would be great for your son and we'll give you some tips and tricks if we're, when we're dealing with that and even more in the classes that Jenny was just yep. describing to us. Our I can't wait for that. workshop trio. Lorena is saying, I saw your cold video. It was great. <laughs> Sorry you were sick. I, I just came on out of nowhere and I was like, I'm going to steam and then I thought, I'm going to film it. <laughs> so there you go. You are welcome. Yes, lots of great teas coming through here too. So I'm so glad you guys are enjoying your uh, various teas or whatever your favorite drink is. Yep, absolutely. To have tea happens to be one of ours. It does, and I also have a hot cup of coffee off to the corner. So I have two beverages going this morning. So shall we show them the logistics? Let's show them the logistics. So as this is our first episode in our Tea Time uh, Season 6, we're just going to show, especially those of you who are new to um, Tea Time, we're going to show you some features of that. So if we could pop on over to website and we'll go through the features of all the benefits of being a Tea Time attendee. That's right. So this is what you're seeing right now. You're seeing Jenny and I on the screen. Over to the right, this is your chat box where you'll be chatting away with your fellow watchers and our Aroma Head team. And then here's where you can click and buy us a tea, which I think is so fun. I know, it Lots really is. Lots of you have done that already. And this is your resources. When you click on download your Tea Time 6 recipes, you'll come to a page like this. Just pop in your email, your first name, and you will get your recipes. And the great, we've added in, as you know, if you're a, a long time tea timer, um, we have a collection of the supplies that go along with our recipes in Tea Time Season 6. And we have a site-wide discount for you of 15% off. And it's, at the, um, it's included in this PDF. Also, of course, we'll send out an email with this information and we can even pop it up as a lower third. It's Tea Time 6 and you get 15% off through May 9 of all the supplies over at Aromatics. Of course, we encourage your journey, whatever supplies you're working with, we love, we love what you love, <laughs> but we also, have, um, we also have this available over at Aromatics for a discount if you're looking to um, work with these recipes specifically. 
So this is what you're still seeing. This is what is on your page down below the video. You can download just today's recipe as well. And as Jenny was telling us about the Tea Time 6 Supplies Collection, the kit that many of you have already purchased as you're getting prepared to blend with us on each week. And then there's some fun facts and questions. Um, if your sound isn't working, how do you fix it? The video's blurry. There's all kinds of things here to help you troubleshoot what you might be experiencing. And then of course, you can join our newsletter and get notified for new events. Absolutely. All right, so we are gonna jump into blending. Are we ready? We're ready. I know, I'm looking down at my notes and I think we've covered everything. I will remind you as we go through. One of the fun things is we do try to keep this um, a little bit like 15, 20 minutes. And I know that some of our topics that we have planned, like next week is making a candle. It will How go cool over. is that? That might go <laughs> a little bit over. So, But for those of you who can't stay, if we do go over, you can always watch these again um, after we're done as we, they are recorded. And you can find those also down below on the page. Yep, right here on the event space. All right, I am going to get rid of, put my tea over here so that I don't accidentally spill it on Ginny as I have done before Kieran for those of I, you who were on season one. We have many skills. One of them is not always grace, so. <laughs> All right, so let's look at your recipe that you have, that you have downloaded. And let me get back over here. Again, we're making the green clay and honey face mask. We have all of our supplies right here. We're gonna be blending with you. Those of you who have, um, if you're blending this with us or you've blended this already, um, pop that in and let us know in the chat if you are blending along with us. And I'm seeing a lot of folks say that they're hopping over, they wanna join the workshop trio and it says cart empty. So quick suggestion, just do a refresh and it should trigger so the bundle, the tr workshop trio goes into your cart and you're able to get um, that uh, package for the $99. Yes, and once again, um, I see a comment. This is called Pisces from the Magic Hour Tea. Uh, just type, type in Magic Hour Teas. Uh, we should put a link in there next time for this. We'll think about that. So let's go through the ingredients first. We're putting in 1.5 tablespoons of half and half. This is what I'm using. It's a grass uh, milk, 100% grass grass-fed grass -fed organic half and half. And we're also putting in a tablespoon of green clay. This is a French green clay. And then we're putting in one teaspoon of warmed honey. So let me get my supplies here. While Karen's doing that, I'd like to do just a quick poll with everyone who's here. Um, so let me know, let us know, do you regularly work with clays or is that something that's new to you? So either say, yes, I work with clays or not yet. You don't yet work with clays. And that's partly why we put together our workshop trio. Again, the first workshop in that trio is all about an intro to working with clays. And then we're gonna do a deep dive into three. Because there's yes. a lot to know. There's a lot to know. It's, um, let's say, it is complex. Once you know, then it's simple. That's right. Yeah. So when I say warmed honey, sometimes honey crystallizes. And what I do is I just took my honey and put it in a bowl with hot water and I melted it. Now I can get rid of my water as well. Mm -hmm. So now I have a clay or a honey that is malleable mm, malleable it's it's not <laughs> crystallized it's it's uh doesn't have to be warmed necessarily it just needs to be able to flow easily yes all right so and then we're using four drops of rose absolute our it's beautiful those of you who got the kit this is in your kit i love rose mm. i know not everyone is drawn to florals some people need to tuck it in but those of you who love florals oh my goodness you're gonna love the rose in this blend and look at all these answers pouring in Not yet. i would yeah. say overwhelmingly working with clay is a new concept i just again we this content is for you it's for our tea time crew and we love knowing where you're at so that we can adjust and really speak to you and where you're at in your journey that's we, right so and we have some people who have worked with clay which i'm very excited about that Clays are fantastic uh, as face masks as they help draw out any toxins that might be there. 
So I talked about the half and half, and if somebody is dealing with acne, I would substitute that and use either just plain water or I would use a hydrosol. There you go. And uh, you don't have to put the honey in either, although honey is a really great antibacterial mm -hmm. all on its own, just naturally. Are we gonna arm wrestle for this blend? We might, <laughs> although this blend will make anywhere from two to four masks, there depending we go. on how much you use. We're going to put the final product in a two ounce glass jar and then this will keep for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. As long as you're using fresh cream, fresh ingredients, this will keep for a few weeks and then you can have it anytime that you want to put a mask on. And I like to use one once a week if I possibly can. Yeah, it's so nice. And if you have nice. it in the refrigerator, it's really easy to grab and really easy to put on. Kim, the clay deodorant also won me over to clays. Yes. Yeah, that's in our natural living class. That's a recipe from our natural living class. So I get to start with a glass bowl, and I like to have plenty of working room because, as Jenny mentioned, we're kind of wild cooks. We are. Amanda wild cooks. up above said, I'm a smart woman with also maybe not as graceful. <laughs> so I'm going to start by putting the clay in here. Now the clay calls for 15 grams or one tablespoon. So I can either weigh the clay on my scale or I can use a tablespoon. And the fun thing about clays in a mask is that I can add more cream if I need or more liquid or I can add more clay to thicken up my concoction. So for today's purposes, I'm going to use a tablespoon across the board instead of using this as well as perhaps a graduated cylinder to measure out the 22 mils of half and half. It doesn't have to be exact, remember. You can, you, can be, you can make mistakes and then correct your mistakes. So I'm going to set these back over to the side as well. You have the hard job today of supplies in and out. I just Thank get you. to sit here and watch comments. Thank you. Well, we we'll put Jenny to work <laughs> Never since mind. she mentioned that. So we'll put a nice one and a half tablespoons. Oops, one tablespoon of green clay. Okay. One tablespoon of green clay. Here we go. And again, if you're new to clays, we have more information on clays. That's the first workshop in our trio. And Karen's been working, 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 working. It's a beautiful presentation that you are not gonna wanna miss. So she did an even tablespoon flat across. Now she'll put um, just that. Now clay is powdery, so you know when we put it in, even though it's not very much, again, I like plenty of working room. Now at this point, you can put your cream and your half and half, to, or your cream and your honey together or you can just put it directly into the clay. So I'll move this over here and we're going to put one and a half tablespoons, tablespoons of I the love, clay in. I love this I little. mean of the cream in. <laughs> I love this little pitcher. All right, we're gonna do one and a half and a half. And then we're gonna put a teaspoon of our honey in. So just about a teaspoon in there. Can you put the lid back on that? I absolutely can. And then we'll start mixing it together. <laughs> Josephina, uh, so if you've been to other seasons of tea time, you know that there's usually a window by us. We just switched it because we were all tripping over camera gear and it gives us more room. The window's just out to our left and it's a beautiful gray day here in Western Montana. And this, you know, it depends on how much you use. This particular one, I would probably use in the entire mask for myself. So you would want to make double this if you want a mask for a couple of times. So it's kind of this consistency, kind of like a, a wet mud, you might say. Now we're going to add, after this is all mixed in, we'll add our essential oils. And you don't have to put essential oils in. This is mm -hmm. purely... Um, your preference if you want to do this or not. Rose is really great for the skin and also smells amazing and as you're wearing the mask for the next I don't know five to 15 minutes you get to smell this amazing emotionally inspiring blend. Yes. Um, Julie's asking will the trio workshop be available at another time? So this is our uh, first time doing this. This is our only plan to do this trio workshop at this moment. So if these topics are interested, or if you're interested in these topics, you're definitely 
going to want to get the workshop trio. And of course, that includes um, replays for those of you who purchase. So notice I'm using another spoon to kind of scrape off the clay. I'll put that up there and so that I can get all of the clay mixed in with the essential oil. Now, since I'm, um, I forgot that I had made this for one yes. face mask, so I decreased the drops to two drops instead of four drops yes. of Rose Absolute. And I just get it in there, mix it all up, use my other spoon like this. And as long as you keep this in the refrigerator, you can now put this into your two ounce this container. This smells so beautiful. And again, I'm partial to the florals. I love rose. And even with the cold that is almost gone, I'm not contagious, I took a test, I can still smell that rose really coming through. You can take a spatula and you can get every little drop of your beautiful clay. And I love that cream as well. The cream, the cream aroma comes in. This is for me, so I'm using my fingers. So all you do, do you see that? And one time in. Jenny let me do this right on her face, but sure today did. we're not going to, but you would just <laughs> take this clay, you want it to be smoothable, but you don't want it to be runny either. You want it to stay on your face like that. So very easy to spread on, very spreadable. Yes, you can substitute bentonite clay. You can use kaolin clay, which is a um, which is the lightest clay available. Really great for a very sensitive skin. This green clay can also be used for those who have acne, as well as bentonite clay and uh, Moroccan clay, which we're going to talk more about in our Thursday. First, our first workshop is this Thursday. I cannot wait. Again, all of you who are interested in that workshop trio, you have until the morning of April 7 to grab that. Now, clay masks are very personal. So you may want this thinner. You may want more clay in here. And it's very personal as to how long you leave this on your face. It can be five to 10 minutes. It can be 15 minutes. For me personally, I use it for about 10 minutes because my face is, is very sensitive and it will get quite red if I leave it on for longer. And mm -hmm. then I just use a warm washcloth and wipe it off, spray with some of my lavender hydrosol or rose hydrosol um, and continue on with my day or night. Are you ready for a technical question about yes. cream? the benefits? Oh, we do have somebody who has volunteered to be oh our... Oh my goodness, what? We have a surprise guest. If you have been around, this is a really huge moment. This is Cindy, and she is a founder, one of the founders here at Aroma Head. She's here with us. She's been helping us create content. We've been having such a good time. Hey. And Hi. I am going to give her my mic and then I'll snuggle up with Karen. Well, I'll get out of the way. That face mask looks Let's amazing. bring Cindy over know, a little what closer. What if I get clay on the microphone? I don't want to get clay on the official <laughs> tea time microphone. I'll get it. I'll get it. Just sit right out. here. Sit right there. Okay. Right here. I heard right somebody here. was taking an A&P test today, so I could give yes. you some she hints. Wrote, you know what I mean? Cindy wrote give the you a couple of hints. She's the one. All right. All Thank right, you, Cindy, for volunteering. Well, you know, it's the hard things that we do to, you know, support the learning. So I just took some oh, clay do masks okay. like this, <laughs> and I'm just going to show you how to mess. apply it, and then she can show you. I'm just going to put it makeup. right here. Okay. I'm just going to put it right here. Now you see how messy this is. So <laughs> I put it smells really. Good. I put right? something on my hair and I hold it back. Yeah, you just and then I just start. The back. <laughs> Such cute fuzz. Welcome to Team Fuzz. Team Isn't fuzz. this fun? If you like yeah. mud, you're going to love this. Oh, look at all these you can have fuzz time. Hi, Cindy. I know. No, it's, <laughs> look at all these folks saying hi, Cindy. It's now, so smooth. I thought, I haven't done a honey one. I thought it would be sticky. It's not but sticky, it's not is sticky. it? sticky. Uh -uh. Now, notice I'm not going close to her eyes. I want to make sure you. that I don't get too close to her eyes because I have essential oils in it for one. And it would, you don't want clay in your eyes, right? Not really. No. <laughs> not since I was a kid. Let's let Cindy try a little bit on that one side. I can't believe that it's not sticky. Right? I know. I Isn't that cool? Sure. Mm -hmm. When we first started in aromatherapy, we were doing face masks, and we never did them with honey. 
but this is really the nice. The honey is a really nice addition. It's moisturizing. It really helps with a lot of issues. This is so glamorous, skin. too, isn't it? Do I have cucumbers? Do you have cucumbers oh, for the eyes? Cucumbers for the eyes would be amazing. <laughs> Massage. So oh, yeah. now you get the idea. Now we're living. Of this is how it. to put the clay mask on. <laughs> <laughs> living the dream. One of the Love things. Good. Thank you so much. This is Thank so you. nice. Wow. One of the things I also do mm -hmm. is when I'm done with the clay, I'll go all over my hands, let should it sit for that? a minute, and then yes. I'll wash it off. I should do that. Yeah. All yeah. over my hands? Yeah, my hands are really dry. Yeah, it's really great for the hands too. It's very clarifying. It helps exfoliate the dead skin. It wow. um, helps. Are you the saying tone I have dead skin? skin. <laughs> this is nice. our AMP expert here. <laughs> yes, we're getting the keratin off. The outer layer. How many layers is Oh, Lexi, like Cindy, we've got all kinds oh, of folks. Oh, thanks saying. everybody. It's so fun great to see you. All. you. Cindy, it's really, what a good really sport. fun. A and P was a great review. Natural Yay. curly hair is always a mess. <laughs> yes, it is absolutely. You want to know? Well, I'm not going to tell this. Before. And yeah, then Karen's it. saying she always sings of your bee stink story. Bee story. I'm not sure what that is. It's in one of the uh, <laughs> webinars that they did in the a, in the ACP. Ah, okay. oh yes. All There's right. lots of stories. Lots yeah. of stories. This feels so good. You should definitely try this if you haven't already. And, do know, what they said. Do what they said. <laughs> We've been talking about um, over the past year of really knowing what oil to use for what moment and carriers yeah. are it's it's mm. such a, an art and a science as well and so there's different reasons to use different clays again if that's something you want to delve into more definitely grab your spot in that workshop trio yeah I want to take that clay class right I'm gonna give this to Cindy because she's gonna probably go over and she's gonna put it on <laughs> right here and she yeah. might even put a little bit on her forehead. But not in my eyes. Are you okay with the floral rose? I love the floral rose. Isn't that rose. nice? It smells really good. Those of All you right, who got you the take kit, this off me so I, I don't get the rose. my nice t-shirt. I love it. <laughs> All right, see you later, everybody. Thank what you. What a special treat. That was so you, fun. Oh, Everyone, go yeah, again, climb a mountain I love Cindy. Oh. <laughs> Linda, so, um, tea time is for everyone, our whole community. We have students in all of our classes. We have people who are brand new to us. So a &P is part of our certification program experience. And again, we have so many classes here. We have so many students who've been with um, Aroma Head since the 90s. And then we have students who just found us today. And Cindy is one of our incredible founders. Seriously, Andrea and Cindy uh, pioneered aromatherapy as we know it today and it's such a treat to have um, to have Cindy on. As I was just saying the Rose Absolute for those of you who bought the kit is in your kit because we wanted to, sh ex ex to show you some of our really super exquisite oils and yes the Rose Absolute, the Rose Auto, you can substitute either of those or geranium even Rose is an expensive oil, but you use very little of it to get the effect that you want. It's so beautiful. We have, um, and again, it's something that we've just started for Tea Time Season 6. We have um, the, you have the ability to support Tea Time as it's a free event, and you can do that by, um, right below where you're watching or on the screen to the right, bottom right, is a little uh, tea or coffee cup. And you can buy us a tea and support um, support season six. And we have people who have already done so. We have lots of tea coming in. We have Suzanne and Rebecca, Sylvia, another Rebecca, Joanne, Cindy, Cindy, Patricia, Suzanne, Darcy, Pam, and Gloria. And oh my goodness, we just have such warm comments. Um, we had Darcy who um, wrote in with her tea. Uh, donation. I've been watching Tea Time since the very beginning and I'm so excited with how it has taken off and turned into the event that it is. Are the earlier recipes still available somewhere? Thank you ladies, you really hit on a wonderful idea. idea excuse me. So in the very first seasons it was just Karen and I coming up with recipes as we went along with our cell phones. Um, so it's evolved into what it is today, and we do have um, some information on past seasons. You're going to want to email us, email us at teamataromahead.com, as well as if you're having any complications, if you're having any complications signing up for the workshop trio, again, limited space, make sure you grab your spot. 
by April 7th, this coming Thursday. Um, if, if you go and click the link, your cart should say Workshop Trio $99. If it doesn't, refresh. If you're having any other challenges, email us team at aromahead.com so we can get you enrolled in that. Okay, so Linda is saying I came in late. So how do I actually register for the trio? There's a link. Um, we also, it, let's show what the cart should look like. All right, let's. It's up here. My hands are a little bit clayed. Let's They're trade, clayed. Trade We're gonna trade. Here. This has been, I love tea time because it's also very unscripted and it just goes where it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna plug your computer in too. Okay, um, so plug that in so we don't lose anyone. There we go. And I'm gonna go over to, I didn't even notice that, I'm glad you did. <laughs> I'm going to go into, we have, let, let's go, that's it. All right, here's our shopping cart. So this is what it should look like. Click the link. Um, this is where you'll be able to grab your trio, your Aroma Head Workshop discount bundle. Again, the cost of this bundle is $148. So you get a significant savings um, purchasing. As you are a valued member of Tea Time, you get a significant discount purchasing through April 7. And you get, again, an intro to blending with clays, to blending with hydrosols, and to blending with carriers, all for $99. Great value, really good content. We're going to have a lot of fun. That's right. So be sure and join us next week on Monday. Yes. So we'll hope we're going to see you on Thursday for the clay Anyone webinar. who's interested and who registers for the trio, we'll see you then. And then we'll see you next Monday again where we're going to do a candle. And I have been candle making out both ears. She has been candle making for months and we have, all of us in the family have benefited from candles and we cannot wait to share a beeswax candle recipe with you and it's going to be, it's going to be so much fun. They're easy, they're fun and you'll be really surprised. We have another couple, Pam and Gloria bought us a tea. Thank you very much. We are having a lot of fun with this new feature. And again, it's just a way to support Tea Time, the community, and help us continue our Tea Time seasons. And again, first timers, warm aroma head welcome. We're so happy you're here. Those of you who've been with us, we are so happy to see you again. So again, I see Cindy has her mask off now. She's <laughs> feeling so great and refreshed, refreshed and, and um, detoxified. <laughs> She's coming in to wave goodbye. I have a whole new face. Look at this. Look at that radiance. <laughs> and it was only at two couple minutes. It's, it's so weird to go back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a pleasure. And what a great way to kick off season six of Tea Time with Jenny, Karen, and Cindy. <laughs> And we are so thankful for this community. It's so nourishing and wonderful. Again, any questions at all, email us team at aromahead.com. And we will see you for episode two next Monday, one week from today. Same time, same place. And again, workshop trio, folks. We will see you Thursday. It'll be fun. Intro to Clay's. That's right. Can't wait. All right, everyone. Thank you. And we will see you soon. Bye for now.